I'm Pat Ford uh, from the University of Florida. Go Gators. And I have the distinct privilege of introducing Dr. Dren Meng of the University of Georgia. Go Dogs. Dren is the head of the Department of Advertising and Public Relations at the renowned Grady College at the University of Georgia. Her research specialties include many areas of leadership, gender leadership, DEIB leadership, ethics leadership, um, the servant leadership in the PR practice, uh, and also uh, strategic communication in a, a global context. She's done a lot of work on international uh, matters. As a highly accomplished scholar with a well-regarded national and international reputation for quantity and quality of her scholarship and, and PR leadership, Joanne has made a, a, a profound impact, including her, her most recent groundbreaking work in, uh, in uh, the book PR Women with Impl Influence, Breaking Through the Ethical and Leadership Challenge. In fact, I reached out to Dr. Marlene uh, Neal of Baylor University, Go Bears, uh, who has collaborated quite a bit with Dren, and I asked her what sets her apart, what sets Dr. Meng apart, and she said Dr. Meng made significant contributions in the area of public relations leadership, particularly her research focused on excellent leadership in public relations, women in leadership, inclusive leadership, and servant leadership. She said these milestone studies will be cited for many generations, but even more important, she is now modeling these best practices in her role as a department head at the University of Georgia and will no doubt inspire future leaders through her example. And I felt a really, uh, although I have a time constraint from Tina too, but I felt compelled to reach out to one of the greatest scholars in our field, Dr. Bruce Berger, uh, who was uh, Dren's doctoral advisor and dissertation chair at the University of Alabama, roll tide. Um, <laughs> And he said, he said her dissertation was the best, most ambitious he had seen in his many years in academia, which is saying a lot. It focused on leadership in PR, and that work became the foundation for the excellence model of leadership that Bruce and Dren further developed at the Planck Center and many subsequent studies. And he said, Dren possesses an exceptional analytical mind which cuts through complex issues and concepts and illuminates the heart of the matter. She's a brilliant theorist in researching and analyzing leadership and helping women advance in their field. I hope you're picking up a theme here. Her intellect, boundless energy, and great empathy enrich the depth, character, and quality of her research and her relationships with so many others. But I didn't want to just end there because for, with, with Dren, given her passionate devotion to teaching and uplifting students throughout her career, the final word really needs to come from one of her students or former students. So I reached out to Maya Jones, who's here with us tonight, uh, who's at the Digi Digitas Health, but who was a student of, of Joanne's at University of Georgia. And she described Joanne as patient, kind, one of my favorite professors whose lessons I continue to apply today. Dr. Meng inspired me to realize how much I enjoy research, which was an enduring gift I will always cherish. And what more could a professor ask than that feedback? So for these reasons and so many others, I'm honored to present the 2023 re recipient of the IPR Pathfinder Award, Dr. Dren Main. Wow, so bright, I can't see anyone. Uh, thank you, such a special day, such a special evening, and what an incredible introduction. I'm deeply touched and honored, thank you, Pat. My dear friend and mentor, it means so much to me to have Pat introduce me and present the award. I even persuaded him to sit at the Georgia table. And I promised I'll give him back to Florida, so thank you, Marsha. <laughs> so as an educator and a researcher, scholar, I always have notes with me, and I enjoy taking notes. So I put down some of my own words today to share with you. And of course, I thought about maybe ChatGBT 4.0 can do a decent speech. <laughs> if I enter, you know, research, leadership, population, Pathfinder Award, IPR. But, you know, that's not authentic. That's not appreciative. And for tonight and for this moment, I want to be authentic and appreciative. 
So to simply say I am honored for this recognition is a true understatement. As an international student who came to this country to study public relations many years ago, the phrase Pathfinder Award is equal to the most prominent, influential, distinguished scholar in public relations research and also in the history of public relations education. By looking at the list of past winners, such as Dr. James Grunig, Dr. Don Wright, who can be here with us today, Dr. Elizabeth Tose, Dr. Bruce Berger, who is my major professor when I was at the University of Alabama, and who opened the door of leadership research to inspire me. Dr. Karen Miller Russell, my great colleague and favorite girlfriend at the University of Georgia. She received the Pathfinder Award 22 years ago. Thank you for being here for me, Karen. And also just name a few. When looking at the research those scholars have done, the theories they have developed, and the efforts and the service they have contributed to our community, the level of appreciation in my heart just goes beyond any descriptive words. I have to say that 14 years to dedicate to public education is just count as a baby step. My academic career evolved over the 14 years around the leadership research. And that entrepreneurship rooted deeply in my heart also encouraged me to try different roles and explore identities with different leadership expectations in professional settings. Technology comes and goes, platform created and faded out. Pandemic came and hopefully gone forever. But the leadership fundamentals stay over the years as proved in different research that I've conducted with my research team. The word of the year for 2023 is authentic. So if you read the PR Week breakfast briefing every morning, which I do, you will recognize that piece. As a first generation of immigrants to this country, I deeply believe in three words, determination, authenticity, and integrity, both in professional career and also my personal life. Because of determination, we are motivated to achieve our goals in spite of obstacles. Because of authenticity, we bring diverse points of views to the leadership table to enrich our profession. Because of integrity, we collaborate together to generate positive impacts for the world we live in. To me, that's the meaning of a pathfinder and a path leader. We don't just find a path, we lead the path to enlighten the greater knowledge and understanding about public relations as a profession we love, we are passionate about, we are so proud of. So finally, I would like to thank a few people. I know there's always a long list that you would like to thank, but again, with Tina's restrictions, three minutes, <laughs> I have to cut short. So first of all, thank you Tina and the IPR team, the Board of Trust for your support and extraordinary leadership. I want to thank my dean, Charles Davis, who is here with me and make the University of Georgia name on the big screen. I also want to thank Charles for trusting me and passing that leadership flag to me to lead one of the best advertising and publishing programs in this country. I want to thank my friend, colleague, longtime collaborator, Dr. Marlene Neal from Baylor University. She's the one who keep me organized on research and also send me text message, always remind me, take care of yourself out of your busy schedule. So I really appreciate that. And I also want to thank the table, the Grady table, the colleagues, friends, alumni, my board members, they are here with us. Thank you very much. Quickly, I want to mention one fact. If you go by record, I'm a third Pathfinder Award recipient from the University of Georgia. We have Dr. Karen Russell in 2001. We have Dr. Lynn Salad in 2008. And now myself in 2023. So for that, please allow me to say, go dogs. <laughs>